In this video, we are going to discuss about differential cascade, cascade voltage switch logic, DCVSL. So it comes under uh, ratio logic. What is ratio logic means? Uh, um, it reduces the number of uh, transistor which is required to implement any logic function um, as a cost of the new robustness and extra power dissipation. So, with the, the ratio logic is also called as uh, pseudo pseudo logic. But so here the number of transistors is reduced. So if we consider the static N mass, so you have a two N transistor. Okay. Uh, what does two N transistor means? Um, if I have a two two N mass, I have I have to have a two P mass. So totally I have four transistors. But uh, in case of uh, pseudo N mass logic, you have one P mass plus N n mos okay so if you see if n is 2 it is 4 okay so if n is uh, 2 here it is 3 okay so this is for um, pseudo n mos logic okay so thereby uh, i'm going to reduce the number of transistors but it will increase the power dissipation okay and uh, it also employs a uh, Positive feedback. What is positive feedback? Means uh, uh, consider two inverter connected uh, in this direction. If I give zero, uh, the output of this one is one. If I give input as one for this inverter, I will get the output as zero. Okay, so this is nothing but a positive feedback. So this is what uh, we have implemented at the uh, uh, PMOS side. So okay, if uh, this is zero, the, this output is zero means. Uh, which will which will in turn uh, uh, turn on this transistor. If this transistor is turned on, uh, VDD will go to out, uh, one. Okay. So if this is one means uh, this transistor is off. So it uh, the so it will hold the stage. Okay. So if this is zero means this is one. Okay. So suppose if um, consider if I am giving uh, one and zero. Okay. If this is one. And this is zero means it will not change. Okay. Suppose if this is one, if this is one and this is zero means uh, zero will uh, zero will turn on this transistor. So the output is one. So this transistor will make the this transistor. This one will make this transistor off. So it will remain in the same state. Okay. So it employs a positive feedback. Okay. So, uh, by using this uh, differential cascode voltage switch logic, uh, we can eliminate this static current. Okay. So, this is the advantage and uh, uh, you have um, the output either it, it will go to 0 or 1. Okay. So, uh, you will get um, a dual So you will get um, a very good uh, voltage swing, okay. Okay, so it has an advantage of differential voltage. If uh, one output is one means another output is zero, okay. And uh, since uh, we have used only n mos, uh, the logic is implemented in the n mos. Uh, the speed up of the operation is more, okay. So that by it reduces the input capacity. So suppose uh, you can see um, what I'm going to do is if you see the uh, if I want to implement the AND gate, um, okay. So this is NAND gate, okay. This is NAND gate. Uh, I'm going to give A and B, okay. So the A and B is connected in series. In other uh, in parallel to this one, you have to give only uh, complementary of this one, so, okay. So this, this this becomes A bar and B bar. So instead of series, you have to connect it in parallel. So what is this out, output? Output becomes output becomes A into B the whole bar. Okay. So this is these two are in parallel. So A bar plus B bar the whole bar that is equal to A B. So if this is NAND gate means the output of this one is uh, 
ఫ్యాండ్ గేట్ ఓకే సో ఇట్ ఎలిమినేట్స్ ద వీ క్యాన్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ ద కాంప్లిమెంటరీ అవుట్పుట్ వితౌట్ యూసింగ్ ఎనీ ఇన్వర్టర్ ఓకే so what is the disadvantage of this uh, uh, dc vsl is um, the contention current uh, during the switching period since uh, we have used uh, pseudo nmos logic the contention current will present okay the contention current during the switching period uh, which will increase the power consumptions okay so it is uh, it is poorly suited for nand and nor logic okay so and it is uh, tend to slower than the static cmos and it as well as uh, it is a uh, very much power hungry okay which i already told you and uh, since it requires uh, so if you see uh, my if uh, for i am having a and b so in order to have a bar and b bar i have to use a inverter okay so if i use a inverter means uh, it will have a, a delay right so um, it requires both the low and high going transitions uh, which will add a more delay at the input okay so and um, this uh, design is a little bit complex okay next um, this uh, differential natural that is uh, out and out bar uh which uh, virtually doubles the number of wires okay that has to be routed okay so to avoid this problem we, uh, we have to go for uh, low voltage um uh differential cascode voltage switch logic okay so the question uh, they used to ask is uh, implement the xr and xr gate using uh, differential cascode voltage switch logic okay so you can see here um, i am connected i connected a and b a and b is in uh, series so it is a into b this is a into b uh, and you can see this one uh, a a bar b bar a bar and b bar is in parallel with this one okay so i am going to add this one and this this a bar and b bar is in series so i will get ab plus a bar b bar the four bar that is nothing but uh, uh a x r b okay so this is a x r b so if you see this side and uh, you have um uh for this side you can see this is uh, a bar b this is a bar a bar b and it, it is in parallel with uh, a b bar okay a b bar so th uh, this we have to add and uh, we need to take a complement of this one so you will get uh, this is nothing but a x not b So this is how we have to implement the XR and the XR gate. 